Look at these beautiful big strawberries grown with the magic water and they taste beautiful as well. We're getting better quality fruit, getting bigger yields and you're saving water. You can't beat that. Could this be the answer to the nation's water crisis and the salvation of our parched and shriveling gardens? Farmers will love it, absolutely love it, they do. Environmentalists will love this technology. Industrialists, all those people looking to reduce carbon emissions will love it. Therefore, government will love it. And even people at home will love this technology. The technology is ever so simple. Treating water with powerful magnets. Farmers across Australia are raving about the results. What do you think of that? So beautiful, isn't it? And yeah. thanks to using that water. Yeah, it is. And without that, I don't think we'd have this. We've never had them like this before, so... Mm. What's more, it also has scientists excited. But more about that shortly. First, the hands-on experience of those using it. When you first heard about it, were you a bit sceptical? Very sceptical. We always thought that, you know, put it in, see what happens, it probably won't work. Uh, eight weeks later, we're just blown away. Chances are you've probably enjoyed Jim Rapepi's strawberries. ASD is the biggest supplier in the country. Jim's been using magnetic water on his farms in Victoria for almost a year. This block's always been our driest block. Uh, we've always had a lot of trouble getting the moisture into the, um, into the soil. And we, uh, we put the magnetic water system through and uh, within six weeks we found that the, water, the block was actually a lot, lot more wetter than the rest of the blocks and we actually had to back off uh, watering. So you save water? Oh definitely, we save between 25-30%. The water is pumped through magnets fixed inside this pipe but it's what's coming out at the other end that has growers like Jim scratching their head in amazement. Do you use it just on the farm? You use it in the house, home as well? Yeah, yeah. We actually got uh, magnets for the for our own, own use in the house. Uh, it's healthy. Yeah, you have a shower. Uh, my wife's noticed noticed the difference even in their washing. She's using less soap. Griffith Citrus and Grape Grower John Violi's computerised irrigation system has given him an accurate comparison of his water use before and after installing the magnetic system. We've noticed much better overall plant vigour, much better plant health. We've seen bunch weights now reaching harvest uh, going, you know, 40 to 50 percent heavier than they were last year. It, it's quite evident that the technology works. And just up the road, Randy Amaro, Australia's largest rock melon supplier, has picked an incredible 30,000 more melons on this 20 hectare patch using magnetised water, compared with another field nearby using regular irrigation water. At first I thought it was a lot of bull, but the proof's in the melons. We're getting more melons. Very surprising though. No, the quality of the melons, everything was up above the crop beside it. And it was very good. Ingrid Postima from Omni Water for Life, which distributes the patented systems, says the molecular structure of water changes as it travels through the magnetic fields. Many, many farmers that have implemented the systems have already had such significant benefits. They've paid for their systems many times over. Ingrid's company has been installing the system for farmers to try out before they buy them. One like this would cost around $10,000 and last up to 15 years. There are also smaller pipe fittings for home use, costing a few hundred dollars. Would have cost us around the uh, ten thousand dollar mark, but you, you get it back overnight. It's just incredible. Yeah, yeah. You could. You well, we bought thirty percent more water for ten thousand dollars. As for the scientific evidence, a controlled trial using magnetic water on various plants has just been completed at the University of Western Sydney. They seem to confirm what the farmers have been reporting including crop yields increasing up to 23%, boosting growth in some plants while using less water. The scientific research proves that it's true and how and why it's true and it works. And that has been supported by controlled trials um, by farmers in the field. The results are still to be formally published, but the researchers suggest that based on their findings, further testing on a larger scale should be done. Frank Pangello reporting. Still ahead, your local weather.